Undeterred, Tritton and Wilson returned to their study in the White Hart Hotel. They decided to attach the new tracks to a more adventurous design. A unique rhomboid shape with the tracks going all around the hull. Because of its shape and to maintain secrecy, the prototype was referred to as a water carrier or water tank. Hatfield Park was the location for secret trials. A mock battlefield included swampy ground and a trench wider than the war office had requested. The tank did everything asked of it. Minister of Munitions David Lloyd George wrote, at last we have the answer to the German machine guns and wire. News of the successful trials reached the new British Commander-in-Chief, Douglas Haig. He ordered 100 tanks to be delivered as soon as possible. The War Office recruited men to crew the tanks. They needed to be technically minded, but for reasons of military secrecy, the volunteers couldn't be told what they were volunteering for. <laughs> 